Avant resolves a very important market problem for a significant and growing market. We develop software for managing events. Any event at all it starts with getting the venue set, getting the planning, executing the event, and measuring the return on investment. Today, most companies will do that manually and very ad hoc. It's one time, it's very expensive, very time consuming, and clearly there's no coordination. The technology we provide is full end-to-end -end event management solution. It is cloud-based, it's comprehensive, and it makes the events super efficient for the companies organizing them. Our customers are all over the world. Aventro was founded by event planners in 2008 and grew fairly rapidly from 2013 on. We had built out the product, we had done some acquisitions, and it came time to what I call pour gasoline on the fire. Bring in a majority investor to help us fire on all four cylinders. When we first saw the opportunity, we quickly identified a great management team that was interested in bringing on a partner to help them tackle the large market that they were facing and achieve significant growth beyond what they'd accomplished to date. In addition, it was right in our sweet spot of horizontal software platforms. There are a number of reasons why we liked AGGC. One was the fact that they understood the industry. Second, the fact that they took a deep interest in our business and did their homework to understand exactly what we did and our market as well. Third, they very clearly understood our stage of development and what we needed for growth. On top of it, we share values related to working hard and driving the business, but more importantly, values also related to being human. We started our partnership with the Adventure Management Team and its existing investors, including Level Equity, in May of 2017. They were excited to roll over into the investment because they, like us, saw the opportunity that lied ahead for the Adventure platform. In the short time that we've been invested in Aventry, we've made a lot of significant progress, and there are a few key focus areas. The first one is expanding the product organically through product development, and then organically, we've acquired a business called ITN that helped expand our product into on-site services and software. The second main bucket is that we're trying to become more operationally efficient. And one good example of that is that we've opened an office in India that's allowed us to shift some of our R&D resources and costs and ultimately increase quality and number of releases at the same time. And the third bucket is to improve our sales strategy. We recently hired a new global head of sales and marketing, Mike Burns, who's helping us shift our sales strategy toward more inside sales, which was a key identification we made during our diligence process. By pivoting to an inside sales methodology for the middle market, we've decreased our cost of acquiring a customer. By giving our marketing team very specific revenue goals, we've increased our conversion rates and become significantly more efficient with our marketing spend. And by extending a unified sales and marketing motion throughout the entirety of the customer journey, we've been able to significantly increase our renewal rates and see much greater recurring revenue. We're excited to report that after just two years of partnering with the Aventure team, we've had tremendous results. We've meaningfully grown our recurring revenue base and expect to continue to drive growth there at a similar pace into the future. We've also significantly improved the operational efficiency of the business and expect that in 2019 and 2020, we'll see even further improvement on key operational metrics. In completing our acquisition of ITN, we've increased the revenue base and the amount of customers we serve and brought a great opportunity for us to continue to cross sell back into the base and drive net revenue growth. Going forward, we plan to invest in our go-to-market strategy, focusing both on the upper end of the market with our direct field base, as well as the middle market with our inside sales team. Additionally, we plan to use M&A to not only expand our product capabilities and customer set, but also expand our geographic reach and tap new parts of the market. I'm really super excited to be walking in lockstep with AGGC to harness the opportunities at Adventure.